cutting the cadmium on the on their sock. Now I'm going to make the same cut on the graft, and I want to match the cadmiums on the on the graft to the one on the under sock. So those cuts you made are almost exactly. They have to be exactly. It's a delicate process that has made it possible for a World War I vet's unique legacy to continue. We're going to get them back over to France and uh, repatriate them. Well, these saplings were grown from cuttings taken from oak trees that were planted in Scarborough nearly 100 years ago after a soldier sent acorns home from Vimy Ridge. Diary says completely destroyed by shell fire. During the battle, large oak trees that lined the ridge were completely wiped out. Millions of shells that were landed there and just blew the whole place to smithereens. But one young Canadian soldier by the name of Leslie Miller sent a handful of acorns home from the battlefield. With instructions, grow these things and if I don't come back, you've got a memory of me. Now, thanks to an idea and the Vimy Foundation, those trees will live on. So it's a whole legacy uh, project. It was unclear how successful the grafting process would be when dealing with such old trees, but they've had overwhelmingly positive results. It's a real honor to be involved in this project. Hopefully uh, they're going to be there forever. <laughs> well, for the next two years, these saplings will be tended and nearly 120 of the strongest ones will be sent over to be planted on Vimy Ridge, one for every regiment that took part in the battle. In West Flamborough, Audra Brown, City News.